Volumetric pipettes are glass or plastic tubes, usually between 1 and 100 milliliters. Used for accurate measurements, volumetric pipettes are calibrated to deliver only one specific volume. The specifications of a volumetric pipette are usually imprinted on the pipette itself. The specifications indicate how much liquid will be transferred if the liquid is drawn up to the calibration line on the neck, the temperature at which the calibration was made, and whether it is a TD or a TC pipette. TD means that the pipette is calibrated to accurately deliver the specified volume of liquid. TC means that the pipette is calibrated to contain the specified volume of liquid with no remainders. To begin, the pipette should be inspected for cleanliness. If water beads up or collects on the inner surface, the pipette is not clean. Follow a cleaning procedure or obtain a clean pipette. Pour the liquid to be pipetted into a beaker. Make sure there is sufficient liquid to fill the pipette and to rinse three times. Using a pipette bulb, draw up a small quantity of the liquid to be pipetted and thoroughly rinse the entire interior surface by rolling the pipette horizontally with a slight rocking motion. Drain the rinse liquid into a waste beaker. Repeat the rinsing procedure at least two more times. Using the pipette bulb, drop the solution into the pipette until it is filled to about two to three centimeters above the graduation mark. Remove the bulb and quickly place your forefinger over the top of the pipette stem. Make certain that there are no air bubbles in the bulk of the liquid or foam at the surface. Tilt the pipette slightly from the vertical position and wipe the outside of the lower stem with lint-free tissue to remove any adhering liquid. Hold the pipette vertically with the tip touching the inner wall of a waste vessel and slowly allow the liquid level to drop by slightly decreasing the finger pressure. Halting further flow when the bottom of the meniscus coincides exactly with the top of the graduation mark. The pipette must be held vertically with the mark at eye level. Move the pipette to the receiving vessel with the pipette held vertically and the pipette tip touching the wall. Allow the sample to drain freely. Once the liquid appears to be completely drained, leave the pipette for an additional 5 seconds by counting to 10. Do not blow or shake out the small amount remaining in the tip, as the pipette is calibrated to deliver a specified volume with a small amount remaining. To review, the steps are First, inspect the pipette for cleanliness and rinse the pipette with the liquid to be pipetted. Use a pipette bulb to fill the pipette above the graduation mark. Wipe the outside of the pipette using a lint-free tissue to avoid contamination. Drain the liquid until the bottom of the meniscus sits on the graduation mark. And lastly, drain the sample into a receiving vessel, retaining the tip of the pipette on the wall of the receiving vessel for five seconds.